Hi everyone, it's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, I really appreciate you for your love and your support right here. This is Saffron Media and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable and authentic happenings, especially in the area of politics and many more. So guys, I'm sure you stay tuned, relax, enjoy and get the best right from here. And uh, right here, it is breaking news because it is coming all the way from Edo State. And remember that lately, a lot of governors and, you know, senators and the likes have been actually defecting from the uh, People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress. And, uh, you know, I just keep wondering what these guys are actually looking for. Is it that they are scared of being probed? That is why they are running to the All Progressive Congress or what? Or are they trying to tell us that they, are, or that they already have envisaged that, you know, APC is going to win the 2023 election? Because I don't see any reason why those guys are moving to the All Progressive Congress when they know what the same party is doing to Nigerians. So really, it is funny that, you know, these guys are just uh, doing what they feel like and moving to the All Progressive Congress. Well, guys, I will give you updates on what is going on right here because uh, this is coming from the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. Yes, you know how his own story went by because he was actually uh, a member of the All Progressive Congress, APC. But you know how things are turned out in his own case when he needed PDP. PDP was there for him. But do you think this is the time? irrespective of whatever is going on in the party do you think this is the time for him to leave the party or do you think it is right for him to leave or do you think that if he wants to leave he can leave because you know when no one was there pdp was there for him because you know at the very dying minutes you know few days to their primaries that was when obaseki actually joined the people's democratic party and he was actually welcomed in and he was taken in by the people of the people's democratic party despite the fact that they already had their members or they have their candidates who were supposed to you know take part in the primaries but all those were squeezed in just for him to emerge as a sole candidate of the people's democratic party but well guys i'll bring you more details because right now we have a shocking story for you that says that uh, obaseke is also the next governor to move to the all progressive congress more details guys but please ensure you stay tuned relax enjoy and get the best right from here Okay, guys, without further ado, it says that uh, the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has described as laughable rumors that he is set to defect to the All Progressive Congress, APC. This is as the governor on Monday revealed that there is no truth in rumors that he is planning to dump the People's Democratic Party PDP and return to the All Progressive Congress, APC which he dumped in 2020 in the build-up to the Edo State Governorship election. Even though there are some shaky things happening in the, in the People's Democratic Party in Edo State, he is still standing strong and waiting for the best to come out of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. Uh, because right now, the uh, governor of Edo State is someone that actually believes in loyalty. And that is one thing that his uh, deputy governor, Philip Shaiba, has actually shown that, uh, you know, loyalty pays. And, you know, uh, even when everyone thought that the deputy governor was going to defect at the dying minute, you know, the uh, deputy was with the governor till the very end even as much as Oshomale spoke with him did everything he could to ensure that the deputy uh you know do not go with the governor but the uh, deputy you know he says he understands what loyalty means and that is the same spirit that the the governor of Edo State has God in Obaseki he believes in loyalty that is why he's saying that if PDP can get him out of that mess so what is his problem of leaving the party to another party or the party that wanted him disgraced because that would have been the end of the road for him if he had stayed back in the All Progressive Congress because Oshomala at that point was head bent on ensuring that the governor did not, you know, uh, go for a second term because there was a lot of propaganda. There was a lot of stuff that was said about the governor at that time that people would actually lose respect for him. People would actually lose, you know, 
those confidence they have in him. But guess what? The people of Ado State actually knew what they wanted and they stood by the governor. They said, this is the governor for the people. This is the man we know. We cannot take this for granted. We have to continue supporting him. So it is the support of the people of Edo State that has taken the governor to where he is today. But you know, like people would say, there is no smoke without fire. If this governor is actually planning to defect, you know how this... Um, you know, uh, rumors actually come. They come like, oh, it is not true, it is not true. At the end of the day, you'll be so shocked that all of this is true. But, you know, the governor of Edo State is one person I respect so much. I just hope he sticks by his words because it it will not be funny if he actually defects back to the uh, uh, All Progressive Congress, especially at this time where that same party is making Nigerians go through hell. You know, Nigerians have gone through a lot just because of the All Progressive Congress in this country. So any governor that is going there, I really don't know what they are going there to do because this is not the party for Nigerians. In fact, Nigerians have feel very disappointed. Nigerians feel so bad that that party is still the ruling party at this point everyone is going through serious stuff in the country just because these guys are not taking responsibilities that they are the captain of the boat in nigeria right now everything is just going haywire things are not turning out well the way people expected a lot of things there's no food there's nothing good happening in the country so I believe the governor is a respect and a reputable man and he should stand by his words because those who left their position just for him to take over as the uh, sole candidate for that party, I believe that uh, they believe he is going to bring victory to them and which he actually did that. So really, I don't expect that he should move to the All Progressive Congress. It could be a rumor today and tomorrow it might just be something to prove that it is indeed true. So I just want to believe that this is true and I don't also don't want to believe that this will turn out to be true. But all the same, I just hope that the governor stays true to his words, like he has said that there's no truth in him going to the All Progressive Congress. I hope this will stand as the truth for him, and I hope he continues to stay to show his loyalty to the uh, People's Democratic Party. Yes, it might not be that he is, uh, you know, he might not owe them anything right now, but, you know, just for loyalty's sake and for them bringing him or helping him come out of that mess at that point, I believe this is also a time for him to show them that he is able to hold their trust and for them to be able to trust him irrespective of whatever has happened. Well, guys, you've heard it all. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say about this, please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.